I've been thinking a lot lately about the nature of competition and cooperation in Bitcoin and what it means for the faith that people have in a given network. I wanted to share some of those thoughts with you here. When I first used Bitcoin in 2012, I realized that it might have a chance to disrupt the entire global financial system. A couple of years later, when I began building small prototypes on top of the Bitcoin network, it became clear to me that such disruption was actually inevitable. I saw a network with fast, cheap, reliable transactions. When I did my first Bitcoin transactions, exchanging paper US dollars for BTC hand-to-hand -hand with sellers in Las Vegas, we would always sit and wait for a confirmation before shaking hands and considering the deal done. When I started developing applications, it became obvious that Bitcoin transactions that made it into the mempool, the queue of transactions waiting to be mined, could reliably be counted on to be mined in the next block. At that time, in 2014, it was even possible to have transactions mined into the next block if the transactions did not include any minor fee whatsoever. When I saw this network, with global reach, outside of the banking system, that had transactions that could be just as fast, cheap, and reliable as anything I had previously experienced, I realized I was witnessing a revolution. But that revolution was only possible as long as transaction speed, cost, and reliability could compete with the established financial system. Unfortunately, just a few years after that, I became disillusioned with Bitcoin. I gave up on it as blocks became full and fees began to rise. Bitcoin was no longer fast, cheap, and reliable compared to the system it had been poised to displace. I wasn't the only one feeling this way. A movement within Bitcoin led to a few brave developers leading a fork, returning Bitcoin to a network of fast, cheap, reliable transactions. Bitcoin was back, in the form of Bitcoin Cash, and so was my faith in what Bitcoin could be. In order for an entrepreneur like myself to make the decision to invest time, energy, and money to build on top of Bitcoin Cash, he or she needs to have a high degree of faith that transactions will remain fast, cheap, and reliable. And it really is faith. The situation on the ground can change. Transactions can become slow, expensive, and unreliable. It isn't the nature of a Bitcoin network itself that keeps the faith. It is the nature of the community that participates in that network. Bitcoin was created to solve the double spend problem. Satoshi acknowledged that someone with control of over 50% of the total hash power on a network could, in theory, respend coins that had already been spent. Now, such an attack requires expending considerable resources, especially now that the networks are much more established and robust. An attacker that did this would reduce the faith in the network as a whole. Reducing faith in the network reduces the value of the coins the attacker gains by having such a large percentage of the network hash rate. And Satoshi talks about this in the incentive section of the white paper. When talking about a miner who has gained over 50% of the total hash rate, he says he ought to find it more profitable to play by the rules, such rules that favor him with more new coins than everyone else combined, than to undermine the system and the validity of his own wealth. This exact situation played out just a couple of weeks ago, with 50% of the blocks on Bitcoin Cash being found by a miner or miners who were not identifying themselves clearly in their Coinbase data. This led even those who have a good understanding of Bitcoin to react as though there was some threat to the network. To this, I responded. Even those who are deeply familiar with the words of Satoshi are weak in their faith. Satoshi gave us a system secured by incentives. The system has been, is now, and will be secure. I'm able to have such faith because at this moment, the balance between cooperation and competition in Bitcoin Cash is being maintained. Bitcoin is a system that requires both competition and cooperation to maintain fast, cheap, and reliable transactions. Miners compete to find the most blocks, and gain the most reward from so doing. This competition adds honest hash to the network, 
making it more expensive for any malicious actor to gain 51% of the hash rate and keeping transactions fast, cheap, and reliable. Protocol developers compete to make their implementations the most attractive to miners, exchanges, and other businesses. This competition ensures ever more efficient implementations, making the network robust, and keeping transactions fast, cheap, and reliable. Application developers compete to attract the most users to their products. This competition creates an ever better user experience where transactions are fast, cheap, and reliable. Evangelists spread the message of Bitcoin Cash to the masses and compete to add more new users to the networking community. This competition incentivizes all of the other players to keep transactions fast, cheap, and reliable. But this competition only works when it's balanced with cooperation. Miners have to cooperate in both a formal and informal consensus about network rules. Formally, if miners run implementations with different consensus rules, they risk splitting the network. Informally, if non-consensus rules about what transactions will be included in the mempool and then relayed, norms like minimum required miner fee and, most recently, the unconfirmed transaction chain limit, are not uniform across the network, reliability of zero confirmation transactions is destroyed and transactions are no longer fast. Protocol developers have to cooperate in delivering software to miners and businesses that follows upgraded consensus rules every six months. The process of making this a reality is painstaking, detailed work that requires great skill to do consistently. So far, Bitcoin Cash has been blessed with protocol developers who are heroes in this department. Application developers have to cooperate to ensure device interoperability across the various protocols such as address formats and payment protocols. Evangelists have to cooperate by lifting up even those with whom they sometimes compete and avoid unnecessarily diminishing the value of the network in the eyes of the public. Those who choose to compete but are not willing to also cooperate are deciding not to play by the fundamental rules described by Satoshi in the white paper, such rules that favor him with more new coins. Such an individual or group, by undermining faith in Bitcoin Cash's ability to deliver fast, cheap, reliable transactions, is undermining the system and validity of his own wealth. As far as I can tell, such an individual is possibly ignorant of where his true incentives lie. I hope this message speaks to those people and opens their eyes. It is also possible that such an individual or group desires a network and community split, even at the cost of their own wealth. We saw this reality manifested last year in the hash war. A third possibility is that such a group of individuals stands to lose nothing through undermining faith in the network or community because they have no skin in the game. For the rest of us, for those who want to see Bitcoin succeed, as Satoshi says, we will find it more profitable to play by the rules. Seeking and finding profit is how the network and community will sustain itself. The only way to make a profit is to discover what is true in the market, to discover what people truly desire, and to truly solve problems in your world. To seek profit is to seek truth. I hope you found truth in what I've said, and I have faith that you and I will be able to cooperate with each other as we seek truth for many years to come.